Yep. Cheese puffs! Welcome to part two of this journey through 90s cartoons and shows. Check the link below for uh, the link <laughs> to the previous video, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot some parts of this theme song. I love it. What a good song. <laughs> yes. I mean, if, you, if that wasn't for a show, you just have that song. Is what. That's just so good. It's something to be said for... I'm sure there's good some good theme songs now, but there's a lot of good 90s theme songs, like the Doug theme song, this theme song. The theme songs were longer in the 90s. And it's a I whole guess, music video. Yeah, it was a whole music video. And I guess cartoons before that, too, uh, had just really long... <laughs> Intros. This was a minute long. How long is this show? Eh, 24 minutes? Well, two of that is the theme. <laughs> Pretty much. And I love The Jungle Book, so I enjoyed that show. This show only lasted for one season. I mean, it was like 60 some episodes or something, but it still only <laughs> lasted for one season, which I thought was interesting. Here is the next thing. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I might not show the intro to that because it's so, so disturbing, but here's some pictures of the characters, just so you understand what we just reacted to. Yep, always thought it was kind of gross. <laughs> well, it's made by the same people who made Rugrats. Uh, there you go. <laughs> and it's a very, very unpopular opinion, but yeah. both of us don't really like Rugrats. It's just sort of... Dirty, just you know, just the design of the characters is kind of gross looking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's not a comment. I don't know. Like I haven't seen enough Rugrats or obviously that to know about the writing or anything. Who knows if maybe there was some really good writing? But just as a kid, you don't pick and choose. A, oh, the the writing of this these episodes does not strike me as enjoyable. <laughs> just like don't like it, don't like it. <laughs> I like this one. So I don't know. <laughs> It's just, that's another thing about the 90s. There were quite a few shows, even that dinosaur show and Rugrats and that, all just sort of like a, I don't want to say dirty unless I literally mean like you threw dirt on it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> just, I don't know how to describe what I think. What does this show need? <laughs> Throw some dirt on it. Ah, now it's just got a little texture. <laughs> it was a different texture uh, to look at. And I don't know, just as a kid, didn't really watch it that much. Almost none. <laughs> Speaking of creepy shows that existed in the 90s. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage, the Cowardly Dog Show! Starring Courage, the Cowardly Dog! <laughs> Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Eustace Bay! Yeah. But creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up to Courage to save his new home! Stupid dog! You made me look bad! <laughs> that was my favorite part of that show, was the Ooga Booga Booga at the end that he, that he does. Eustace. That Eustace does. I did watch it more than some of those creepy shows, I guess you could say, but that show could be really scary. But the animation, while it was sort of dark, it was meant to be. It was kind of cool, and it was... I, th I thought it was a good show. Some episodes I remember distinctly are the when Muriel was a baby for some reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> more <What>? macaroni. <laughs> more cheese. My macaroni. My cheese. Courage filled up the macaroni and the cheese just forever, and finally she goes... I hate macaroni. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and But then another one. You remember the... Was it a fox? What was that character? It was a... Blink. 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 
blink. That was scary. Yeah, I guess it was just the mixture of the humor and the, the creepiness that made the, the creepiness more justified or something. So it wasn't a it wasn't a bad show, I guess, most of the time. Some of the time, I don't know. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Over the hills and far away Not far enough Smelly tubbies! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for smelly tubbies! <laughs> Stinky winky! Blah blah! Toe! Smelly tubbies! Goodbye! Why is it still going? <laughs> oh! Beaking! <laughs> Blow them away! <laughs> Is there more? What's the rest of this? I don't know. Where have the Teletubbies gone? <laughs> Where have the Teletubbies gone? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to put you through such mental anguish. <laughs> Aren't you glad you watched that show as a kid? <laughs> Why did we watch that at all? I mean, we didn't watch it a ton, but I feel like we kind of watched it a lot. <sighs> I'll say this. <clears throat> Here's what I was actually going to say. I remember in... I don't know if it was first or second grade, and perhaps a cousin or two or some old classmate can back me up on this, but I was sitting in class, maybe it was at the end of the day or in the morning or something, and all of a sudden, the teacher turned on the TV, and Teletubbies is on the TV, <laughs> and we're all tortured. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'll tell you this! I'll tell you this! There's one ep Oh, I, I just- I'm in such pain. Do you remember the episode with the pink stuff and the vacuum cleaner? Look, that's all. I do not remember anything else as far as episodes go, personally. But I remember that one and being like, I like something about this. Maybe it's like the Love Ducks on a certain <laughs> show. It was just- it's so horribly made and just- there is no writing. What writing? What do you mean? That was quality television right there. Look at all the effort that went into that. It was television. I remember there was like a sequence with this 3D merry-go-round thing. And that's all I remember in addition to the, the vacuum thing. But it's just a very bizarre, <laughs> bizarre memory of watching TV. It's a bizarre show. Anyway, yeah. 90s. Thank you. And also, not thank you. Here we were, so happy a few seconds ago. <laughs> Boy, am I enjoying... Ah! 90s. Ugh. That's <sighs> why we're talking about this. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
<laughs> Worn out after Next. that. <laughs> oh, yes. Lift your spirits a little bit. Key change! Key change! I did the bitty bitty a little too early. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, that's a great show. It's educational. Very. And I remember teachers play. The best school day you could have, for me, go to P.E. all day <laughs> and watch Magic School Bus when you're tired. <laughs> and you have the perfect school day. What a great show, Miss well, Frizzle. That's one of those shows that you forget all the things you learn in school, pretty much, except for whenever it's presented to you in shows like this. So good job, educational cartoon people. Who made that, anyway? Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode, so that's the end of part two. And stick around for part three in the future. Now thank y'all for watching Cheese Puffs on Cheese Tree 43. Subscribe for more, check out the merch store, and look for us on all of these. Oh, Goofs Magoo, follow that for games and singing too. Yally, there's Patreon, you can support us on. Thank you once again. Ziggity bop 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 a doot and dot and dot and dot and dot and dot. Man.